roll to see who goes first. I roll a 20. So I'm trying to find a real d20, not a spin down counter. I roll 20. Uh, this is a real d20. I roll 20. Oh, this is And from, yeah, that's the one we found from at uh, uh, Cedar Point. Yep, told you. Yeah, we went to Cedar Point. I know Point. my dice. You rolled 11, by the way. Oh, thank you. We went to Cedar Point and we found a dice. Well, we didn't find the dice. The people behind us in line found the dice and they didn't know what it was. They were staring at the dice being like, what is this gem? It was funny. I saw the the daughter crouch down and like roll it on the ground to see if it was a real dice. And I'm like, what what do you what did you expect to happen? And they were like, oh, we love dice. You know, if you don't want it, we'll take it. And they're like, what is it for? <laughs> so yeah, apparently most people don't know what a D20 is. Yep, you should ed- take the time to educate your fellow family members on what a D20 is. Yeah, I've, I've got a hat with a D20 symbol on it, and like, I just remember my grandpa asking me, like, what is that mean? What's that magical? Is that a sports team? I am team? taking a mulligan by the <laughs> Yeah, I'm following the uh, Boston D20s. Because <laughs> it was a baseball cap with a D20 on yeah. it. Yeah! Yeah. And oh, that day when he asked me that, I happened to have a D20 in my pocket too. Oh, and then yeah, I pulled it out and showed it to him. That was great. You need to carry that around with you more often. I actually keep a set of dice in my backpack now to help me do make you? decisions. Because I come across, I'm like, what do I want to eat? And then I take out my dice and I'm like, okay, I'm going to have this. R and Jesus will know for me. Yes. <laughs> Breathe be. I can't make decisions. I must always ask R and Jesus. <laughs> Pray and he will guide you. <laughs> Is our Jesus a he or a she? Let's find out. So this is my hand. Don't look, Anthony. Oh, oh, I'm not looking. You're taking a mulligan? I did take a mulligan because one land to start out with mostly six drops in my hand is probably not a good start. (laughs) I think it's fine. I'd actually prefer you started with that hand. I, I know you would. Oh, by the way, what are we playing today? Um, we're playing Magic the Gathering Commander. I kind of meant the Commanders, <laughs> but that works too. Oh! I'm going to be playing Olivia Voldaren. And what are you playing? I'm playing Thraxamundar. Alright, uh, so Olivia, what she does is I can just deal damage to his creatures and turn them into vampires, and then I can steal them from him. So I'm going to be sacrificing everything she owns, forcing her to actually. <laughs> so my goal here is to get Olivia out quickly, steal his creatures, and then instead of sacrificing my own creatures, I can just sacrifice his creatures. My goal is to make sure she doesn't have any creatures on the board to do this with in the first place, especially not her commander. And uh, also my commander can get plus one plus one counters every time uh, she turns another creature into a vampire. My creature gets plus one plus one counters anytime anything is sacrificed ever. So it's just gonna pretty much be a race to see, you know, whose commander can be faster. <laughs> okay, so um, here is a life counter. I'm actually specifically using the app we are not sponsored by called Life Counter. <laughs> I thought it was Micro Magic. Uh, no, Micro Magic's what I use in my card index, but for my life counter, I use life counter. Oh. Ironically enough. Right. Beep boop. So, I'm going first. I'm going to start with Mirrodin's Core, which uh, I can tap for one colorless, or I can tap, put a charge counter on it, and then I can tap to remove a charge counter from it, and add one, col- one mana of any color. So I'm going to tap that, throw a charge counter on this. Boom. Uno. As the spanning thing. Go ahead. Alright. Game changer. I saw that. I don't I don't know if we've uh, told that story, but when I was learning how to play magic, <laughs> ah. Anthony can be like I, because I didn't know what was good or bad at first, and this was like my first game ever, and like, I, he convinced me that like a land was like a game changer. Yeah, you thing. played down a, uh, it was, it was either an island or a plains, but either way, a basic land, and I'm like, oh god, game changer. Yeah, he I acted quit. like it was a super big deal, and I was I so quit. confused. I'm and like, she was what like, did what I, did I do? do? How, how good am I at this? And I'm like, ha, ah, no, I'm messing with and you. And your friends went along with it, too. Yeah, it was, it great. was really mean. <laughs> I'm a bit of a bully. Yeah. That's why she married me. Maybe. All right, I play a swamp. I tap it for a pulse tracker. Oh, I don't like pulse tracker. So I, I know you know what he does, but I'm gonna read yeah. it anyway. Uh, when he attacks, each opponent loses one life. 
Uh, can we retroactively ban Pulse Tracker? Nope, no banning. Starting now. Go ahead, your turn. Okay. If we were to ban a card, though, I'd say we need to ban Soren Markov, because that's a horrible card. His think, minus ability. I think we need to ban Olivia Voldar. <laughs> that's my commander. <laughs> I, I I repeat what I said. Okay. No, bringing uh for Soren Markov when you bring a player down like that in Commander, it's unfair. Like their life. Yeah. yeah. Playing exotic orchard. Look at how exotic it is. Um, I'm gonna tap Mirren Explorer again to just jump this up to two charge counters. Okay. Yo, yeah. All right. Okay. For voting ruin. Cancel. You can't cancel a land. <laughs> All right. For voting ruins. So when it enters, I need to reveal a swamp or mountain card from my hand. <gasps> Look, a mountain. <gasps> Game changer. Oh, my nails have the mountain symbol on them. Yeah, so. the inferior color. It doesn't matter. I'm not spending it, so it doesn't matter if it's tapped or not. Although you don't know, maybe I have an instant resorcery in my hand I could play. So All of them. You better watch out now. I'm watching. I'm going to attack you. Okay, I take an automatic one, and I take the other one. Good oh, shot. Here. Here we go. 38. Go ahead and take your turn. Well, I may as well just forfeit at this point. After that two life loss, what's the point of even trying? Look at that, like a two minute game. Yeah, all right. The only length game should be. Because this is standard. Oh wait, no it's not. Standard is bad. I don't like standard, I'm sorry. We played standard for years. And we really liked it. When we made the transition over to Commander, I was pretty hesitant at first. I really didn't want to, because I loved Standard. Yeah. But now I can't even, like, when I make a Standard deck to play with my sister, it feels wrong. Yeah. I prefer Commander now. Commander's so much fun. Um, yeah, I have some super high cost stuffs in my hand, so go ahead. Alright. Oh, sorry. Incorrect. Oh, charge no, counter. take these backsies. Well, I'm in that case, on your turn, I tap it, put a charge okay. counter on there. Fair enough. Alright, I'm gonna play that mountain that you saw last turn. <gasps> but you weren't expecting that. I'm one mana away from playing my commander. Good for you. Thank you. I'm two mana away from being able to play mine. Or, sorry, three. Or <laughs> four by traditional methods, three by my methods. Ooh, Ooh, fancy. Whoa. I'm attacking you. I will take the damage. That's two. Two more damage. Your turn. Kill Leo. Please be more land, because I'm out of it in my hand. Nope. So LOL. I think you just need to put more land in your decks. I don't think you ever put enough in. So this is this is a weird issue, because I actually have a bunch of mana ramp stuffs in this deck as well. I'm just getting bad draws right now, which is super disappointing. Maybe you need a new shuffling method. Maybe I do. Yeah. Are you passing to me? Um, no, I'm putting a charge counter on Mirrodin's floor. Okay. And then I'm passing to you. Why, thank you. Okay. Playing another swamp. Tapping all four of it to play my commander. Is Olivia still only four? Yeah. I thought she was five. Oh man, that hurts. Yeah. Cool. So Mama she's a three dying. three flyer. Well, I can't deal damage to you. I can only deal it to your creatures. So you, until you get a creature out, you're okay. Oh. I mean, she can well, attack you for three. Case, three is not a lot though. Three commander damage. Oh, yep, that's right. If you deal twenty commander damage, you. Wow, all right, cool. I don't even know the rules and I'm losing. <laughs> or sorry, the other way around. <laughs> I, you get the, the idea. The person attacking Whatever. You. The thing is, I don't like the commander damage rule. I just, I don't like it. Cause that ends games pretty quickly when you've got a huge commander. Well, that's cause that's how you play the deck. That's how you build the deck. I know, I just, I don't like using that rule. I don't like you. I will, I will take a win from it though. So, <laughs> uh, attack you for the one. I take two. All right, go ahead. Cool. I like my games to last a while. I like to really look at all the cards in my deck and everything. No land? Um. I'll shuffle your deck. I will shuffle your deck next time, and then you will have land. That's not how it works. Good. I, okay. I love watching the videos of people like cheating in Magic the Gathering tournaments where they like cut the other person's deck and switch out like the cards they need from the top to the bottom. That's why she always wins. I, I haven't even touched your deck this time. You don't know that. 
Could have happened off camera. They didn't know. They didn't see. You, you've been here the whole time. I have not touched your deck. I just got here. I'm just saying, people can be really sneaky about that. Where I, they're like, I got here turn three. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I have to discard a card, by the way. Oh, okay. We should do that then before I take my turn. Yeah. Let's discard. That's painful. Elder Mastery. Goodbye. Okay. Um, Rakdos Guildgate enters tapped. Oh, I like this card. Okay. Tapping four for Haven Goal Vampire. When he deals combat damage to a player, I put a plus one plus one counter on him, and it will be easy to deal damage to you right now. And whenever another creature dies, I get a plus one plus one counter on him. Okay. So, I'm gonna attack you with Olivia and Pulse Tracker, and that is three commander damage. Cool, so I take five overall. Do you want a dice for and, commander yep, damage? Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. If you do get enough mana to play your commander, it'll be cool to see, because you are you also get plus one plus one counters on your commander, right? Yep. Yeah. And uh, you make me sacrifice creatures, but my commander can steal your creatures. Yes. So it'll be cool to see if I can steal your creatures faster than you can make me sacrifice them, or... That's assuming I get creatures at any point. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> you can go, I'm done. Okay. Cool, Darkwater Catacombs. Look at that land! I'm up to four mana at my disposal. Go ahead, take a turn. I play Arcane Lighthouse. It can take away uh, Hexproof from you. Uh huh. Okay. I'm tapping all six of it. Dun dun dun. Fur. Oh, these should be untapped. <laughs> I'm gonna say this wrong, but Ghoul Dread. Draws Overseer? Yeah. Wow. Could you tell that from the artwork? From the art. That's impressive. You know your artwork. Thank you, thank you. All right, so whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, other creatures I control get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. If that land is a swamp, those creatures get plus two, plus zero until end of turn. He's a three, four flyer. Vampire tribal is very strong. Yes, oh, I love vampires. All right. Three commander damage, one with an automatic one, and 2-2, two, two, and then he gets a plus one, plus one counter from dealing damage to you. Cool. So overall, I am taking seven damage. And three of that is commander damage. Mm -hmm. All right. Hopefully you can get a creature out soon. Yeah. Go ahead. I will tap all four. Ooh, you get to play something. You get to play something. For Soul Ransom, I enchant a creature, and I control enchanted creature. I will be picking uh, Olivia Voldarn. Uh, I can discard, or sorry, I don't do this. You can discard two cards to make okay. me sacrifice this, and then I draw two cards. In okay. the meantime, Olivia. So if I discard mine. my two cards, I get Olivia back. Yes, and I get to draw two cards. Well, that's totally worth it. Okay. You can do that at any time. Uh. Hmm. Then I'm going to wait to do that. Like, so if you attack me with her, then I could do it then. Yeah. Uh, no. I'm just going to do it now. Okay. So I'm going to discard Doomblade and Mutilate. Okay. So, because you don't have any creatures. And both of these are to, like, get rid of your creatures. Yeah. They can't even help me. Cool. Olivia is back to yours. Soul Ransom is discarded, and I draw two cards. Yeah. One of which is Reliquary Tower. Thank goodness I just drew an eighth card. So that is conveniently timed. Go ahead, whenever you're ready. All right. I just wanted you to get that card draw so, you know, you, you could get lands and it could be an even game. Thanks. I appreciate that. Yep. Yeah. Just looking out for you. Okay. Oh, this is a good card. 
I am apologizing in advance for this card. Alright. Tapping three. Quietus Spike. Are you familiar with it? No. My creature has a death touch, but the cool thing is that whenever that creature deals combat damage to you, you lose half your life rounded up. Yeah. Alright. So, I'm going to pay the other three to equip that to Olivia. Well, I might not always be swinging with Olivia, so for long term's sake, I'm going to equip it to Avon Gold Vampire. No, this one. It has flying. There we go. Sorry. I'm indecisive. Okay. I swing at you with all of it. He's gonna get another counter on him. He's dealing combat damage to you. Okay. So. And that spike that is every time he attacks or every time he deals combat damage? Every time he deals damage to you. Okay. Let me, I will double check that. Yeah, when he deals combat damage to a player, you lose half your life rounded up. Okay, so I'm taking... Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Cool. Taking eleven damage. And then I lose six. And three of that was commander damage. So yep. Knock that up to nine. There we go. Alright, your turn. Tap four. So play at Corpse Traders. He's just a 3-3 and I can sacrifice him to make you reveal your hand. I choose a card from it and you discard it. Okay. Go ahead. Alright, thank you. Should I just swing and end this? I don't know, I might have one of those one mana board wipes. Alright. I know that's a joke. Um, I'm playing the Swamp. So creatures I control get plus two plus zero until end of turn. And I'm gonna tap three, destroy that creature. Okay. And I attack you. Cool, that is game. Cool. Good game. Ah, oh, I rolled a three. That was cheating. I saw that. That was okay, cheating. Cool. <laughs> you still win. Your shuffling is bad. I have to mulligan again. Are you gonna? Oh, you well, haven't seen your hand, so I guess you don't know if you want to go first or not. Yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna want to do something. I'm sure. Um, okay, two lands. That's way better than one. <laughs> well, golly gosh, goodness. I will go first. Why did I put this card in this deck? <laughs> okay, whatever. We're doing it. So that enters tapped. That's not the one I was. What's the problem about. with that? Oh. No, that one's good. It's another one. But uh, like, that's you'll a see pretty good just double color Yeah, there. no, that's that's there's no problem with that. <laughs> Go ahead when you are ready. Alright. I got one of these fancy old swamps here. Yeah. The really the older, old the swamp's ones. Cooler. That's the cool tap symbol that's like just a T, not an yeah, arrow. Yeah, I miss that. Yeah. So I'm gonna use that to pay for a soul ring. So, oh, come on. And I want to use that soul ring to pay for a thought vessel. Oh, God. So I have no maximum hand size. So you're disqualified for playing soul ring turn one. What? I got so lucky with that draw. I love doing that. We just go from one. There was one time where I had the perfect hand and I just went from land to soul ring to thought vessel. And then there was one more that I got in there. And it was uh. great. Um, 
That's my turn, though. I don't have anything one cost. Oh, so you're poor fine. you. Poor you. Or maybe I do, and I just don't want to lay it. Well, be sure that you can lay it. The other card is the Eye of Ugin. Ooh. Colorless Eldrazi costs two less to cast. <laughs> so helpful. Yep, for you, all these zombies. Do you have Eldrazi in your deck? I have, like, two. Okay. Well, if you get that, you've got, like, 2% chance. Yeah. That's cool, right? <laughs> Are you done? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. My lands. Well, technically, most of them are artifacts, but... Now I play a newer swamp. And... Swamps don't match, disqualified. That's a rule. Go to your local game shop and make sure to call people out. If all their lands aren't from the same set, they're disqualified. <laughs> By the way, I'm lying. Don't do that. <laughs> no one will like you. So what, I have five mana to spend. It feels pretty good. I'm gonna tap three of it for a Burnished Heart, which, you know, can help me search for basic lands, or I can just use it as a 2-2 creature. Cool. Um, then I'm gonna use the other two. Um... For a sign in blood. So I'm picking myself, I draw two cards and lose two life. Cool, cool. And with that, I'll pass to you. Cool, cool, cool. Rogue's Passage. And that will be my turn. Alright. The problem is, I don't have anything to produce red mana yet. I hardly have anything to produce mana. I've got a Shimmering Grotto here where I can pay and then tap to add one mana of any color. So I could use that for my red, but instead I'm going to pay three, or yeah, pay three, sacrifice this. Yeah, let's do that. I was hoping I'd just draw a mountain, but I'm not. So I'm gonna sacrifice this to search for two basic land cards. Sadly, they enter tapped, so I can't spend the mountains this turn. Oh, wow. It took me, I had to go through that many cards before I found a mountain, which is quite a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're bad at shuffling. Maybe I should shuffle for you next time. I'm a good shuffler. All right, there's our other mountain. So, the under tapped, and I've still got three mana left. I'll shuffle this on your turn. Um, see what can I do with three mana? Yeah. Pay two for a Racto Signet. So for that, I can pay one and then add two, and I can add it's a black and a red. So now I've got plenty of mountains. And I've got a ton of mana now, so that'll be really good. Cool. Your turn. Go ahead. That's it? Yep. No lands? Nope, and I only have two mana at my disposal. So, the cheapest thing in my hand being three, three drops. Oh my god, you're kidding. <laughs> you gotta put my land in your decks. Alright. Untapping. My artifacts, so I'm just gonna stack them up. Got my swamp stacked up. There we go. Trying to stay organized. Guess what I drew? A land. Game changer. <laughs> Alright. Where's that that will go? I don't know where that will go. Whatever, we'll put that wherever. Um oh it enters tapped. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna play my commander, first of all. So, tapping. Tap these four. My commander's only a four drop, pretty nice. And now I've got five left over. Tapping these two mountains and soul ring. 
It's messy. For an heiress of Stromkirk. So what she does is she has Intimidate, and whenever she deals combat damage to a player, she gets a plus one, plus one counter. All right. So, your turn. Cool, cool, cool. Go ahead. Okay. Really? Nothing? Nothing. Oh, I feel so bad for you. You know, you don't have to let me win. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take you out next turn then. Okay. <laughs> that would be impressive. I would want to see that. Yeah, so would I. Okay. One, two, three for a commander sphere, so I can tap to add one mana of any color to, uh, in my commander's color identity to my mana pool. I'm going to attack you with both of these. Cool, cool, how much do I take it? Five? Yep. And three of that is commander damage. All right, so this guy dealt damage to you. He gets a plus one, plus one counter. And I'm going to um, pay, what is that, two? Yep. For Olivia to deal one damage to my own creature. She will then get a plus one, plus one counter. Um, do we have a good d6? There it is. So. Your turn. Well, cool. I appreciate you not doing that beforehand. Just spare me. I didn't think of it until after, because I'm, I'm so used to doing it to your creatures, you just don't have any creatures out. I've never actually used Olivia's ability on my own creature. Nice. So. Well, go ahead. At least you got a land. Yep, so next turn hopefully I'll be able to play something. Alright. And you're not even that low on life, you're at 37, you've got time. You got any artifacts down? Nope. Alright. Let's see, how much mana can I produce here? If I pay two swamps, one, two, I can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Tapping all of it. So much. And for fame command, I mean, I feel like there's a better use for it, but I've got other cards in my hand, so I'm just gonna pay it now while I got free mana. You lose nine life. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, my creatures gain fear until end of turn. Fun. Ooh. Yeah, that was probably a waste of the card, but you know, I've got three mana right now. Yep. So. Plenty of. Attack with both of them. So she's a 4-4 four, four now. Uh -huh. That's a 3-3 three, three now. Okay, that's 7 overall. Yep, and then she gives a counter. Three of it is commander damage again. Or sorry, four. Four, four, four. of it, yeah. All right, take your turn. Cool. Cool, cool, I will tap three. One, two, and three. For a Demir Clue Stone, I can tap it for one blue or one black, or I can pay two, tap it, and sack it to draw a card. Okay. Go ahead. So now you got an artifact. Yep, good. Blow it up. Yep. Vandal Blast. Destroy it. Cool. Okay, now gonna tap my soul ring. There we are. Pay another two for swift foot boots. Okay. Pay another one to equip it to... Why not, Olivia? We'll... She has the hexproof. hexproof. Is nice. Yep. The haste doesn't really matter. She was already on the battlefield. Um, I'm gonna pay two a minute. And deal that one damage to him, so she gets the counter, and I'm gonna attack you with both of them. 
Cool, so that's how much? That's five from her and four from her. Cool, nine. Okay, and she's down to three. Five of which is commander damage. Cool, cool. Your turn. Sounds good. And I will discard my Zathrid Demon. Oh, you love Zathrid Demon. Yep, but I also love playing by the rules and only having seven cards in my hand. Go ahead, your turn. Alright. Well, you should just be like me and have Thought Vessel, so you got no maximum hand size. Oh, my bad. Sorry, I'll just make that happen. Yeah, here, you can have it. Would you like it? I'm kidding. <sighs> I'm kidding. I love you, but not that much. <laughs> Aww. Okay. I am tapping three. Well, that's more than three. Well, I'm paying one for that and then getting the two mana from it and then tapping another one. So, in the end, it's three. Cool. Olivia, mobilized for war. So, flying, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I can discard a card, and then if I do, I can put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature, and it gains haste until end of turn, and it becomes a vampire in addition to his other types. Cool. So, yes. I'm going to pay two, one, two, and deal one damage to that one, giving, yeah, one damage to that one, giving this one a counter. Sorry, yep. Olivia gets to counter. I'm going to pay one to move Swift Foot Boots onto Olivia, mobilized for war, giving her haste. So, paying her for one, that's up to four. If you've got any, like, little red spells to deal a little damage to them, that would, I'm helping you out. If I have any Good. spells, that would also be awesome. Oh. Um, so now I'm gonna attack you. So that's a seven, that's a five, and that's a three. And that's game. All right. Good game. Yeah, that's a word <laughs> for it. Maybe next time you'll be able to play a couple cards. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We'll get one good game in here. Eventually. <laughs> Alright, let's roll a dice to see who goes first. <laughs> okay, I got a 20! Well, go uh, Look at that, that's my lucky dice. Alright. Love it. Swamp. That's my turn. You can go. S spectacular. Um, yeah. Well, uh, I'm gonna have to discard my entire hand because uh, I actually have uh, a card that says I have a maximum hand size of zero and that's the only card in my hand. Hmm. So, uh, I'm lying, command tower. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um, all right, so it's your turn. Cool. with Water Cliffs Center's tapped. All right. Go ahead. So, for once, I am the one having a mana problem. Yay! You'll get your comeuppance this time. Oh no. Comeuppance is a great word. Let's just all take a minute to appreciate comeuppance. Okay, I have to discard a card. Sorry, give me a second. This is a hard choice. I'm gonna twist these the way of the camera right quick. This is the app Life Counter that acts as our... Life Counter? I know, what? it's a revolutionary idea. Shocking. I'm, I really had to go outside of the box to get this uh, this rig working, this life counter. It discarded me too late. I'm really <laughs> disappointed about that. I like that card. Take your turn. Yeah! I drop. You should have mulliganed. You should have. I that saw my hand, and I was going to, and then I started talking about something, and then I'm like, <laughs> the game's already started. I can't mulligan now. So the fun thing is, like... The one card that I can play right now just pops a creature back to your hand. Oh, well, I'm glad I know but you have that. But, like, but, like... <laughs> My turn? Man. Yeah, go for it. <gasps> it's a land! Ma'am, you really need to go for it. It's a uh, Rogue's Passage. I would have preferred a mountain. Cancel. 
I will take this. So this is this is how sad I am right now. How badly I want land. I'm going to waste a demonic tutor. You're gonna demonic tutor for I land. I have to. Oh, like, the pain of tutoring for land. I I hate wasting that, but I really I'm not gonna be able to play the game if I don't get a mountain soon. So. <laughs> Uh, it hurts. It hurts so bad. It should. Mountain. Cool. Um. Spiffy. Oh, your turn. Yes. Watch, I draw a mountain next turn. I'm gonna be really sad. Well, in all fairness, that'll be the fourth that gives you enough to play your commander. That's true. So, and like, the thing that's is, not a problem. Thrax Moondar, your commander, really good. So I need to I need to get my stuff going, get it done and set up before you can play him or he I'm gonna be in trouble. Heckin' strong. Yeah. I'm a little bit afraid of him. Okay. You done? I will Yeah. I'll end my turn. So I know if I play Olivia, you're just gonna pop her back to my hand. I might. Ugh. So what you gonna do, kid? Okay, it's a swamp. At okay. least I got four lands now. It's That's enough to nothing. play in Olivia. Yeah. Fine, I'll play my commanders. I just hate being put back that turn. I it's really... funny because instead of putting her back in your hand, I'm just gonna cancel her! Oh! Tap four for a dismiss! Counter that spell and I draw a card. Get it! Wrecked oh. on, kid! All right. And then commander tax applies, so. Yep, now she'll cost two yeah. more next time. Thanks. Yeah, I'm good at my job. That's what I do. My turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Thanks. So now next time I play her, you can still pop her back to my hand, right? Of oh. course. Ah. <laughs> that was quite the noise. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm hip to it. It's hip to be square. I'm going to tap four. Oh, you're going to get that song stuck in my head. It's because it's a good song. I love making that, like, I love that being your alarm that you wake up to in the morning. Yes. That's a good song to wake up to. Yes, it is. I'm going to play Corpse Traders. So these spiffy Deuterinos are a 3-3 that I can pay 3 to sack. You reveal your hand. I pick a card for you to discard from it. And, uh... And that yeah. happens when you sacrifice him? When I sack him. All right. And then I'm going to play my... Demir Aqueduct, it enters tapped, and I pop a land back to my hand. A hand land, if you will. Hand land. Hand land. And it's true, because it rhymes. <laughs> it, yes. Okay. All of this is true, because it rhymes. Thank that's, you. That's a quote from the Lego movie. <laughs> the only movie anyone should ever watch, ever. Go ahead, whenever you're ready. I just want to go home. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I love that movie. Okay. This is... A bad idea. Cancel. Okay. Go ahead and send this one back to my hand. When he enters the battlefield, I can search my <laughs> library for a basic land card. That's fair. Go ahead, are you gonna, you gonna send it back to my hand? I'm gonna not, if that's okay. You sure? Yeah, and no, I'm gonna leave him. Okay, it enters tapped. Nice, spiffy. Um, sadly, that is already all of my mana. You can take your turn. Cool, cool, I on tapity tap. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna play an island. I don't know why I'm stacking them up like that. There's literally no reason for it, but whatever. I'll stack them like this, because why not? And then with that at my disposal. Gah! Guffaw. I'm gonna tap. <laughs> what? Okay, what was that word? That was a guffaw. Um, I'm gonna tap five for a uh, little miss Tamio the Moon Sage. Ah, nice. Yeah, I like Tommy. She's fun. So, because I played her, I'm going to search for a dice right quick. Oh. I found this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jump her up to five right quick. To tap target permanent, beep boop. It does not untap during your untap step. Your next untap step. Oh, okay. Do you remember beep that... Boop. Um. That time, Rick, our friend Rick, he uh, was playing a Tomio deck, and he didn't have a Tomio. Yeah. So he asked us to print him out of, like one, because so, sometimes when we don't have a commander, we just print them out. Yeah. And uh, it's all friendly games, so who cares? Yeah. And we made a joke Tom. Well, I should say you made it. I didn't make it. Yes, you made a me. joke Tomio. And I found it to him. a fan art of a super sexy Tomio, 
And so I printed out everything was correct except the art, and her name was Tamio the Sex Sage. No, did, you changed the words for one of the abilities too, didn't you? Oh, I probably did. Oh, Lord. You Lord. made it like something like super inappropriate. Yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> the funny thing is, we handed it to Rick, and he didn't he notice. He did not notice right out of the gate. He just played Tamio normal. I was like, hey, here's a Tamio, man. And he's like, okay, cool, thanks, man. Yeah, and uh, he played with her. Like it was that. fun. <laughs> it was fun. I don't like to play with Tommy all the time. Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna swing at you for three with my corpse traders. Yep, I have to take it. I know you do. Go for it! <laughs> untap! There we go. And that doesn't untap? Correct. Okay, but my next turn it will. Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah. I'm going to ruin your day. Please do. I don't like having good days. How many swamps? I only have two swamps. I don't have enough swamps. Why don't I have five swamps? Because you're bad. Actually, no. I only need three swamps to do this. But that's still more than I've got. Tapping three. Cancel. Hero's downfall. Destroy oh. your planeswalker. Oh, yeah, I forgot it, ha it handles Planeswalkers as well. Yeah. Goodbye, Tamio. I loved you. All right. That is going to be the end of my turn, because I've only got two mana left, and I'm a loser, and I can't play anything for that. Wait, what's his power in Texas? He's a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I can't do anything for that. So it's oh. your turn. <laughs> cool. I was spooked for a second there. Raw. Okay. Spooked. A Terramorphic Expanse. Tap and sack it, search my library for a basic land, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle off mm -hmm. I'm going to search for a basic land. You know, to put it on the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. I, I, we get the point. Well, so the, the, the main idea of that card is that I get to search my library for a basic land. <laughs> and then it enters the battlefield. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, do you remember it's tapped or untapped? Um... Just put it in between, like kind of tilt it, but not all the way, because we don't know. I I know people who do that, and it gets me that. real tilted. Actually, the Rick the Rick person we were just talking about, when he taps, he taps them like oh that. Oh my lord! Like, why would you do that? And another weird thing he does. Sorry, Rick, if you're watching this. I love you, Rick. I really he do. He puts his lands in front of yeah, his Yeah, why would your lands be above everything So he's else? got all of his creatures and everything down here, and his lands out there, and like, it's the weirdest thing. If you're gonna have a weird thing with where you put your lands, put your lands under your creatures, because so, then logically your creatures are standing on land. Actually, like, that's something at least. So I like that explanation. <laughs> he, he, okay, he doesn't even tap them that much. He taps them like that. They're slightly tilted. Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, just... Uh, don't don't do that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have this, this swap tapped. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that makes a lot of sense, right guys? Right? Uh. I, I like, there are no rules on how to organize your battlefield, but everything yeah. does it generally the same way. I mean, you put your graveyard there, you put my lands. Well, and, apparently um, not if you're yeah. Rick. Again, I love you, Rick. We I really, you, Rick. really do. <laughs> He's really nice. He actually gave us an N64. He is our bestie. He really is. It, it was the greatest thing ever. We were at his house and I was talking about how I used to love to play uh, Super Mario on the N64. And then he like disappeared and he came back. He set it down on the table with the game and controller. He's like, and so he's yeah, like, you said you this go. game? Like... <laughs> and he just gave it to us. And then I'm like, oh my word. And then I think later I mentioned like, oh, now we got to get James Bond so we can play it together. Yeah, like, and he just has, he's like, okay, cool. He this disappeared one? again, came back with the game. And he's like, here you go. There it is. Gosh, Rick, you're great. Yeah. You're a great man. Oh, by the way, he's uh, uh, he's letting us borrow um, Gundam Wing. He has the entire series of Gundam Wing, because I mentioned that I need to watch Gundam again. Okay. Yeah, so he's letting us borrow that on DVD, so we're gonna be watching a lot of Gundam uh, soon. That's really nice. Gundam's so good. <laughs> By the way, I played Blue Sun Zenith, uh, lets me draw X cards, and then I shuffle it into my library again. Okay. Uh, X is three, because I played six mana. One, two, three. Oh dear, there we go, three. And I'll organize that later. Then I shuffle it back into my library. By the way, if you're playing Commander and don't have the uh, Sun Zeniths in your library... They're really good. All of them are good. Literally all of them. That's why I have Red Suns, Blue Suns, and Black Sun Zenith in my Red, Blue, and Black deck. 
Those are kind of just like card staples you always put in. Oh, they're Probably awesome. Swift Foot Boots is always just a nice exactly. one. Exactly, Soul, Soul Ring, Ring, yeah. Commander Sphere. Because like, those. give me one situation, and I know there is one. Give me a second situation. No, there's a second. Give me a third situation in which drawing X amount of cards is a bad thing. By the way, the two that I mentioned that were bad ideas, mm -hmm. one was against mill decks that try to deplete your library so that you die by drawing oh, yeah. cards you don't have. And the other was uh, one specific commander whose name I can't remember, who every time you draw a card, you lose one life. So other than those two <laughs> highly specific situations, yeah, name one, right? All right. I'm sure there's a couple other, but you know, I, I can't know. think of them off the top of my head, so I'm going to let yeah, it go. Just, just give me that one. Yeah. <laughs> cool, Leo. That is... No, that is not my turn, because yeah. I have corpse traitors to attack with. Go, right. boys! Kind of hoping you'd forget that. Heck Give it to me. no. Flippin' heck. Go ahead. <gasps> it's a swamp! Oh, by the way, I have eight cards in hand, so I'm going to discard my uh, Artful Dodge. My Artful Doge. Alright. I'm going to... Get a creature out for blocking. Please do. Ghoul draws Overseer. Ghoul draws Overseer? <laughs> uh, flying, landfall. So when another when when a land enters the battlefield under my control, my creatures get plus one, plus zero. But if it's a swamp, they get plus two, plus zero. Nice. You're gonna send them back to, Oh, you don't have mana. I do not have mana. Ha ha ha. My turn. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's your turn. I know cool. you're going to send them back to my hand. Untap, air tang. Draw. That would actually be pretty clever if you didn't have anything to send them back to my hand, and you were just trying just to make me hesitant bluff. to just play a, a creature. Just bluff all day long. Pretty smart. Cool. I'm going to count my lands right quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hate how you stack up your lands. Like, I want to see how many Sorry. lands there are. Here are my basics. Thank There's my Demir Aqueduct that taps for two. Here's my multicolors. Beep boop. You don't have to do it like that. It's just I like seeing how much land you have, and I, I can't tell if it's in a stack. And how do I want to wreck your day? Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to be nice. I kind of really want to wreck your day. Sorry. Can you beat me without wrecking my day? <laughs> <gasps> or is it not a true victory then? It's really not. So what I'm going to do is tap everything but one island to play Thraxamundar. Oh no. Hey, 6-6. Six, six. Okay. Then I'm going to tap an island to flashback my Artful Doge. Okay. Making him unblockable this turn. I wish I had saved my hero's downfall. I'm sure you did. So I will now attack you with, because Thrax has haste, my corpse traders, who are just a lowly 3 3, and Thraxamundar. When he attacks, you have to sack a creature. Alright, well, cool. I sacrifice Solemn Simulacrum. When he dies, I can draw a card. That's cool, which gives Thrax a plus one, plus one counter. Okay. And so you have seven commander damage unblockable coming at you. Yep, and your other guy is a 3-3? Just a 3-3, chilling like a villain. He's got nothing special on him? He has nothing special. So I block him, and then you're going to sacrifice him, so I have to reveal my hand, correct? Nope. I have to pay three mana to do that. I oh. just wanted him to die. Why? Don't worry, there's graveyard stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> graveyard stuff. So you're going to take seven, all of it is commander. All right. See, that's what I don't like about commander damage. It ends the game too quickly. You mean it's good? Okay. And I'm good? Seven commander damage. Cool. Go ahead. I better get something to get rid of your commander really quick. I don't have anything. All right, I tap six. My only chance of surviving is if I can get rid of your commander, because as long as he's out, I'm losing the game. Correct. So, here's here's my thoughts. I'm playing my commander, and yeah, I'm going to walk... No, I'm not going to tell you my strategy. This isn't a friendly game. Yeah, no, it's not a good idea to tell me your strategy when you're losing. Alright. Okay. Your turn. Cool. No! Wait. I'm going to just attack you. 
For three? Yeah, yes. she's only a three, you're right. Cool, my turn? Yes. Cool. Thanks for, for, for thanks, thanks for, thanks for, for a joke about the similarity between the word thanks and thrax. For that, realizing you married a loser. Oh, I realized that a long time ago. Okay, cool, I thanks. I just married you for your money. That's fair. Which then I found out you didn't have. Which is also fair. Cool, so I'm gonna tap two for a cyclonic rift to bounce. Your no. gold draws overseer back to your hand. No, don't do that! Don't do that! Because then I'll have to sacrifice <laughs> Olivia! Don't do that! Yeah. Take it back now, uh, y'all. Well, there goes there is my hope. And then I'm gonna swing with Thrax. You have to sacrifice yeah. Olivia. Take some. Thrax seven more. gets a second plus one plus one counter, so you take eight more. That's it. My only hope was if I could sacrifice my gold draws. And then peg him, make him a vampire, and steal him. And that brings you up to 15 commander damage. And now I'm out of... I wasted all my mana on that. Ah, oh, dang it. So if you attack me one more time with him, I'm out. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to tap 7. Oh dear. For Limdul, the Necromancer. Whenever a creature you control is put into a graveyard, I can pay 2 mana. And if I do, I get a copy of it, except it's a zombie. Cool. Go ahead, whenever you're ready. That's a good card for that deck, where I have to sacrifice all my stuff. Yes, Slim Duel is fun and a great include, especially when you're forcing your opponent to sack stuff. Okay, we got or a mountain. Or playing in general Withering Black. I'm not going to play this mountain yet, actually, just in case I play the Landfall one again. Correct. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet, so... So, my, I guess my only hope is... To survive one more turn, yes, that's my entire goal here, is to survive the next turn. That's fair. I need at least two creatures down so that I can sacrifice one and then still block your commander, assuming you can't make him unblockable. Do you have a Rogue's Passage out? Yes, I do. So you can make him unblockable? Yes, I can. Well, that complicates things. I don't <laughs> see a way I can win this. I can deal up to seven damage to him and one damage short of being able to just kill him. Yes. Um... There's one rule that might be able to save me. I'm gonna look it up a minute, and I have. I'm gonna look it up on my phone a minute. Go for it. Because if this is true, I will be saved one more turn. Getting into weird rule BS to try to win this game, and I like it. It's not that weird of a rule. It's just something I'm unsure of, and if it's true. Okay. I actually didn't think this was a rule. I went to. What was it? It was a. Uh, Pre-order event. Or... Yeah, yeah, it was a uh, um um oh lord, the one of the pre-release events. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, so that's what it was—a pre-release event. Deal. And uh, this like a five-year-old kid, I was playing him, and he told me that this was a rule, and I'd never played it that way before. But the kid seemed to know what he was talking about, so I just went with it. <laughs> um, yep. Okay, just double checking because I was always unsure of this, but now I know for sure. This will save me for one turn. I'm gonna play that mountain in a minute. I'm going to tap three. Uh, traitorous traitorous blood. blood instinct? What is it? So yeah. I gain control of target creature until end of turn, untap it, it gains trample and haste until end of turn. But the nice thing about this means it will have summoning sickness. When it goes back to your side on your turn, you can't attack me with it. When it re-enters the battlefield under your control, it gets summoning sickness again. When does it re-enter? It's until end of turn. So the turn ends, you get it back on your turn, okay. and then it will have summoning sickness on your turn. The rule is it has to be on your battlefield through one upkeep before it Okay, but since it re-enters on the upkeep, it's yes. cool. So, you won't be able to attack me with him next turn unless you can give him haste in some way, which I don't know, maybe you can. Uh, can, can you read his card for me? Oh my god, he has haste! <laughs> no! <laughs> so, um, sadly, I don't have a way to give my commander haste. No! Because I felt it was unnecessary, considering he by default has haste. Oh no! Okay, that's, that's it, that's game. I mean, we can play it out. Play it out. 
I'm, I'm not even gonna bother playing anything. <laughs> you can attack me with them. Make me sacrifice my limb duel. I'm gonna play a creature. Woo! Drana, Clash of Blood Chief. Attack oh, you Drana's with... so cool. Yes, okay. he's cool. I won't get to you. I have to sack limb duel, which means Thrax has jumped up to. Which means he can. A 9 9. Does he lose his counters when he re enters? Um, uh, if it's leaving and re entering. Yeah, he loses counters. And yeah, he would lose. I'm not gonna attack you with him. I'm not. Oh wait, yeah, because he loses the counters again. Yeah. So I'll, he's got one counter for that attack or whatever. That's like, a seven. He, lose it. he has seven counters. He's up 83, 83, and I lose. No, um, that's. Yeah, he swings and hits me for seven. Mhm. Mm Crack. Kill me. Haste. Kill me. I'm gonna draw a card. Let's see how long I can draw this out. I'm kidding. I'm just gonna play it and swing. Cancel. Oh, okay. Good game. Cool. GG. Good game. GG. GG, baby. Alright, so there we go. I won two games with Olivia and you won one with Thrax. Correct the Alright, thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe. I we have uh a few games of Commander? Game lore videos. We have a lot of stuff! Yeah, if you want to watch more games of Commander where I actually get to beat him, then, you know, check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Or there's lore videos, whatever. Whatever you feel like. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to start putting together my good decks soon. More stuff like you that Thrax, every but video. plays consistently. Yeah, and I won this one, so get out. It took three tries for you to I win. I know. <laughs> Don't worry. Next time, I'll win next game. I swear it. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Let's have a great time.